I've got mail! Just before Christmas, Ashley from Raspberry Pi team reached out to me and asked if I wanted to play with one of the new products. I have no idea what it is, so let's find out! Welcome to the cellar. I'm a cellar nerd, my name is Frederik, and I'm really eager to find out what this is. But before we do, my legal advisor would like to have a quick word with you. Okay, so here's the deal. I am legally obliged to say that this is an advertisement. I'd say gifted, but here in Norway, a gift makes it an ad. Raspberry Pi reached out to me. No money has changed hands, but I did get these items for free. So keep that in mind when you watch the rest of this video. Alright, that's out of the way. Now, like I said, Ashley from the Raspberry Pi team reached out to me and asked, Hey Salina, do you want to play with a product we haven't released yet? Of course, I was eager and I said yes before she finished asking, but that was ages ago. Now this week, this package arrived and I still haven't opened it and I'm really, really eager to find out what this is. So, I don't see any reason to wait any longer. Ooh, camera module three. And camera module three, no IR. No way. They have released a wide version of their camera module. Ooh. To our favorite Saladrella. Hope you can think of a cool use for our new cameras. Keep it secret until Monday 9th. Ashley. Ha! This is so cool. Camera Module 3. Let's see. The Raspberry Pi Camera Module 3 is a camera for Raspberry Pi computers. Uh, featuring autofocus. No way. Autofocus. And a 12 me megapixel sensor and supported by Raspberry Pi's Pi Camera 2 Python library. Camera Module 3 gives you excellent image quality with precise control. Autofocus? That is sweet. Compatible with all models of Raspberry Pi. No IR. These I have never played with. I've been using the Camera Module 2 or even 2.1, I think in one of my surveillance cameras. The Raspberry Pi camera module 3, no IR, so 12 megapixel, blah, 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 no infrared filter and autofocus lens. It allows you to see in the dark when used with infrared lighting, giving you excellent image quality while requiring no visible light. Sweet. And then there's the wide version. I've got a fisheye camera on the porch, but this one, Raspberry Pi Camera Module 3 Wide is a camera for Raspberry Pi computers featuring autofocus and a 12 megapixel sensor. Blah 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 blah. Excellent image quality with precise control. <laughs> 120 degree diagonal angle of view. 120 degrees, that's like. That is wide. <laughs> autofocus. I'm liking this. Okay. See, if the wide camera is wide enough, I will put this one on the front porch. The camera I've got there today is a fisher, and I'll show you in a minute. It's not a good camera. But if this one actually works, first let me see if I can open the camera on the front porch. Got a 180 degrees field of view, but Oh yeah.
I don't like this. People will be using the doorbell. Oh, I forget to finger and focus. I like it. I like it a lot. I really like it. This compared to this. Oh yeah. Looks like my lightsaber needs a charge. Right, so I've had a few days to play around with the cameras, and so far I am impressed. The autofocus is really really fast, and the image quality is quite decent, both for photos and videos. The no I the no a it's impossible for me to say no IR without having to think about it. The no IR camera, I haven't tested a lot because I don't have any IR light sources yet. Uh, the regular one I've tested quite a bit, and the wide one is already put into production. It's uh, right next to my front door acting as a surveillance camera. But that is a video, that is a project for another video. Right, that's it. Remember, I'm not a reviewer. This is per definition an ad. If you want to make a purchase, you will have to do your own research first. But uh, despite that, thanks for watching. See ya!